trying on Kylie Jenner's clothes to see if I can feel rich and famous just for a day. No, you walnut, you can try, but you'll always be our little dork, hee <laughs> hee. Hi guys, welcome to my office. I'm in my office clothes. I'm business casual today. So I'm gonna show you guys what AliExpress gives us as options to buy from Kylie's closet, and then we're gonna buy them and compare the quality from AliExpress, which is generally 10 to $20, to Kylie Jenner's clothes, which are generally thousands of dollars. This is awkward. I prefer doing this over the Kardashian closet on there because as you guys saw from my last video, they scammed me for a couple of the items. They were actually more expensive on there and like they're used. I hate, hate, Hey! So I actually took screenshots of these so we could look at them all at the same time. So the first thing we have is Kylie Jenner's pink shoulder blade puff dress. This is from Kylie's blonde era, so we know it was like quite a while ago. It's a nightclub dress. It's $14, and I think the original must be thousands, so this is interesting. The next thing we have on there is this tie wrap top. It's $9.87, and I'm very excited to try it. The next top we have is this full-on pattern outfit. I've never worn something like this. I realize Kylie Jenner's style is a lot sexier than mine. She makes sure everything is really well form fitted and it fits well and it shows off her curves. It's interesting to look at these clothes on Kylie's body and then look at them on my body because it is so like drastically different. Like just because you buy an outfit that someone's wearing, you're not going to get their body and you can't get this exact picture. But I am going to try for you guys so you're like interested. This whole outfit was $9. So, and then we have this shirt, which is $7.67. And looking at the top that I got, it looks nothing like this shirt. So, uh. Trash. And then, this is the one that weirded me out the most. This is a chic silk feather dress, Kylie Jenner, nights out, off the shoulder, button embellished S, pin night tights, white mini Stroke. party club wear sexy frock. Okay? So that's what I want for Christmas. So write it down. <laughs> I don't know where exactly I would wear this to, but I did buy it. It came out in the package and it looks just like it. So I'm really excited about it. The price on this one was $27 to $55. I'm gonna try to find the original so I can see how much it costs. <laughs> But yeah, those are the clothes I got from Kylie and I have some more surprises for you guys so I'm interested for you guys to see it and let me know what you think about it. Um, I'm gonna order these clothes and they're gonna be here in about a month. So I'll see you guys in a month. One month later. Hello guys, so it's been about a month since you last saw me and here I have unwrapped all of Kylie Jenner's clothes that I got over the last month since it's been, oh, okay. Let me show you some of the outfits. Uh, I need to tie my pajama pants tighter for this. The first outfit that I have here is this pink dress. It looks pretty much exactly like the photo. The only difference is the shoulder pads aren't as prominent. There is significant shoulder padage though. Here's the dress up close. The material is nice, silky, and soft. It reminds me of a material you would see on like, oh, Polly, Princess Polly, any of the Pollys. And it has like a zipper going down all the way to the back, so I'm gonna be able to zip it by myself. This is the number one sugar baby dress. I absolutely love this. I'm holding it together because I'm not giving the goods away for free. You're gonna have to pay $14.99 per minute for that, you know? I'm holding this dress on for dear life. It can snap open at any minute, so maybe I would not recommend ordering this unless you know a tailor. The shoulder pads are not as puffy as they are in her dress, but that's okay. I like things a little bit smaller. It's not really about the size. It's how you use it anyway, so I like small shoulder pads. Uh, the length is not long enough, but that's fine. Like I said, it's okay if you're a little short. In terms of replicating the original design, I think this got it spot on. I've seen this dress on Poshmark for $800, but I'm not exactly sure how much it originally retailed for because since Kylie wore it, things get much more expensive. The sleeves are a little short, but I do like the back zipper that I'm able to zip it up all by myself. I feel very accomplished. Zipping up my zipper is like getting a college degree in my books. So <laughs> speaking of college degree, this dress reminds me of like Legally Blonde. I feel really confident in it. If it just fit well, I think I would give this a 10 out of 10, but because of the weird fit and the short sleeves and the shoulder pads not being big enough, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Still good for the price. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. The next dress is this feather situation. Really excited about this. I love that they actually sent the feather piece. Here are the buttons uh, down the middle. So I used to do these videos that were like thrift flips where I would shop at Goodwill and then I would flip the dresses into something. Kind of reminds me of a lot of the wedding dresses I saw there. Like the inside ruching is something reminiscent of like 90s wedding dresses. There were a lot of Goodwill. If you guys do want me to do thrift flips from Goodwill again, I used to love making those videos. So let me know if you do in the comments down below. This is giving me 90s 
runaway bride because my husband cheated on me with a secretary vibe. I think that I'll it will hit me like in five years. Hi, okay. So I just looked at Kylie Jenner's photo and this dress is actually strapless and this goes in the back. So I'm just gonna throw this back and tie it, which is good. Well, no, how is it strapless? But what? Huh? Cause then if it's strapless, then it becomes like a weird halter top thing. But hers isn't, it's just like completely strapless. This is turning into one of those like 90s Disney Channel films where I'm like the evil stepmom that gets married to the dad. Hey kids, we haven't seen Cruella de Vil yet. I'm doing it wrong. Kylie's tied the straps on the side. So she's gone off the shoulder like this and then she's left these straps here. If only I had an assistant to come dress me. I'm gonna make this dress vibe. Oh yeah, that's cute, okay. The thing about ordering clothes online is you can't fault a cheap supplier for this because any supplier could do this. When you don't have the exact proportions they're cutting and sewing to, that's not their fault. Like everyone has a different shaped body. That's just part of genetics, like regardless of what you eat and what. Hi babies, I'm serving you 90s hot wife realness. I'm serving looks, absolutely. I love the feather boa. It gives so much pizzazz to this outfit. I feel so hot. My favorite part of this dress is that you have no idea where I'm going. Am I a bridesmaid? Am I a bride? Am I just going to a party? Am I going to sleep? Is this a nightgown? Where is this feather boa going? Am I going somewhere warm because I have long sleeves and a scarf? Or somewhere cold? Bimbo like me likes to keep them guessing. Okay, the next set we have, I didn't show you guys earlier, but this is a photo of her in it. And this is like a little Chanel set. <laughs> it literally says Alexander Wang on the pants and I called it Chanel. Like, I, I, I can't deal with myself. This outfit I feel like is very look at me, or at least that's how I felt when I was wearing it. But looking at the clips back, I guess it's not that like gaudy and ostentatious. Is that a word? Gregarious? I have no idea. I'm going to need to look it up. But I feel pretty confident in this. I like the shape. I like that it's tight around the waist. I feel like a cheerleader. I don't know what I'm cheering for. Maybe Dogecoin, maybe some kind of crypto. I have no idea what's going on with the stock market. So I'm just here to flail. Okay, what am what, I'm fired from doing these dance moves. Who allowed me to do this? I'm not really good at dancing, but I am good at epic transitions. Watch this. Boom. This is the next set that we saw Kylie Jenner wearing. It's a really kind of inexpensive jersey material, kind of like uh, like a Lululemon legging or like a Nike legging kind of situation. It's got like these little straps and it's a top and a bottom. I would literally never pick this outfit for myself. If I just saw it in a store, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to try this on. It's weird. First of all, it's orange. Second of all, it's checkered. Third of all, what are the straps doing? But this happens to be my favorite outfit of the entire video. Look at me. I'm like a little pageant girl or whatever. Like, look at me posing. Yes, hee hee. Uh, oh, or I look like one of those fitness people that has like muscles or whatever. That would be cool. Um, I feel really confident in this outfit. Am I going to wear it? No, I'm still going to wear leggings and a sweatshirt to Target. I don't know what all these clothes are for. I have no idea where I'm going, um, but I love them. They're so beautiful. This is my favorite outfit. If you're going to get anything, get this. For this top, I had actually mistaken. The top and the bottom is not $9. They don't sell it together. They actually sell it separately and the pants are unavailable. So now I just have this top. 10 points to Slytherin for this top because I feel like pure evil but hot girl in this. I have no idea where I would wear this, but I feel so pretty. I am one movement away from a nip slip at paparazzi headline and um, making my career. So if anyone's wondering how I'm feeling, I'm definitely wearing those sticky boobs underneath this. I don't know what else I could wear. Um, I feel like in a hot day, this top would just be a disaster. I feel like this is cute in the video and like we can agree it looks cute, but in real life ma'am please this is so dangerous if you see me wearing this on instagram just know it's just for the picture these two tops i'm really confused about because they arrived supposed to be like this and this i don't know if they sent me the wrong thing or if i ordered the wrong thing because that's also a possibility so i'm not putting the blame on anybody but i'm confused but i would still wear these nonetheless would you like some essential oils please join my church camp disgusting I have no idea why this shirt gives me MLM vibes, essential oil vibes. Maybe because it's like LuLaRoe, those leggings that went viral for having all these weird bad patterns that smelled like mold. Like, I think that's what this shirt reminds me of. Moshi didn't like it either. He was making faces at it. I think the colors were too annoying for him. And finally, we have this dress that I'm so very excited about. So I've not only seen Kylie wear this, but also Kim Kardashian. 
It's like this long, I think it's like Jean Paul Gaultier. <laughs> I think you guys made fun of me for calling him Jean last time. I think it's Jean Paul Gaultier that makes these dresses. But I am happy I got my grimy little chipped nail fingers to touch this. So I'm really excited about it. This is an epic material. I think the stretching is gonna be really exciting to watch. Hello, Jean Paul Gaultier. Okay. Can I wear any other of your dresses? Look at how great I look in this. Trash. This dress makes me wildly uncomfortable. Maybe because it's like completely sheer and this is awkward. The front is not so sheer, like, but for some reason they made the back completely sheer. I would like to know. But I do like the shape, like, and I think for practicality use, if I wore this with jeans on the bottom, like if I just cut this and made it a shirt, I could wear it with jeans on the bottom very easily and not feel like so awkward. I'm not gonna show you the back just because it's sheer and- You're gonna have to pay for that. It's not free on YouTube like it is now. But the length is good, the shape of the dress is good, the fit's good. It's more comfortable than I thought. I would say this compared to some other looks I've seen them in, it was probably pretty comfortable from them to wear. However, I do think it was tailored a lot better and a lot tighter, and she probably wore like skims or some kind of shapewear underneath. I feel like if I was doing like a costume party where I was Kim K, like this would be good. Okay, I'm not sure that insane blurring was like absolutely necessary. I guess it's not as sheer as I thought, but it felt pretty sheer, so I'm just gonna blur it anyway. I hope you guys don't really mind. I love the lines of this. It's absolutely so cool. It looks amazing. I feel really happy in this. I wish I could wear it somewhere. So if anyone can invite me, thanks. And that's the end of our video. I hope you like me trying on Kylie Jenner's clothes. If there's anyone else's clothes you want me to try on, let me know. I think this was way better than the Kardashian closet because now I have some actual usable wearable clothes for way less money. I think I spent less than 100 bucks on this video. On the last one, I spent like 500 smackaroos. Oh, she doesn't like when I talk about him. Baby, he's sleepy. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. You know, want to outlive your life? Bye!